Hi, I'm Darren and welcome to New Factory Classics. Today we're going to break down Wonder Woman, the fourth movie in the DCEU. The movie opens with Diana receiving the old picture that her and Bruce were trying to get from Lex Luthor in Batman v Superman. He's very interested in her past, but doesn't want to prod too much. He still feels bad for helping kill Superman. Diana is from the island of Themyscira, I dare you to try and spell that. The island is inhabited by all women, and she is an Amazonian princess and believes that her mother sculpted her out of clay. All right, here's a brief history. Uh, Zeus made the gods, Zeus made men, Ares made the men evil, the Amazons helped the men, the Amazons attempted to kill Ares, Ares tries to kill everyone, uh, Zeus ends up hiding the Amazon from the world and men, and Ares is injured but feared to come back one day in the future. So the women train to prepare, they do not venture out to the world of men. Now I expect everyone to do really well on the test. Now Diana has spent her whole life training to be the best Amazonian warrior ever. Into their little protective bubble crashes Chris Pine. He is being chased by Germans and the Amazonians attempt to fight them, but they're no match for bullets. During the battle, Diana's aunt actually dies from being shot. So they end up putting Chris on trial and use the lasso of truth to get his information out of him. They find out that Captain Trevor is actually an undercover spy for the British government and he was investigating the Germans. He discovers that Dr. Poison is creating bombs that should kill many, many people. He ends up blowing up the factory and it's the worst thing to happen to Europe in several years since this guy went for a drive. Diana desperately wants to go with Captain Trevor to the mainland and help protect the humans. As an Amazon, it's her job to deliver safety to everyone. If not, she must return it and offer some Kohl's cash. Diana steals the sacred lasso, shield, and sword. She is planning to go with Trevor to England and bring peace to Europe because as we all know, once World War I ends, there's no more wars in Europe. Diana is told that if she leaves the island, she may never come back. They run the security on that island, just like an airport parking lot. While they are sailing to the mainland, we cut to Dr. Poison, who's rebuilding an even worse bomb. She's nothing if not a credit to the Poison lineage. Diana is introduced to England in the 1900s. It's truly a fun side adventure before they go and slaughter a bunch of Germans. Diana kicks some butt in her new outfit, it shows that the Kaiser's days are numbered. Truly a win for socialized healthcare. Trevor and Diana are unable to convince British intelligence that they should be able to go to the front line and destroy Dr. Poison's warehouse. They decide to put a rogue team together and go on their own. As we all know, Chris Pine is really good at following directions. Their team is secretly funded by Sir Patrick, one of the members of British intelligence. He seems very trustworthy and will not backstab them in the end. Dr. Poison and her boss, Ludendorff, kill all the Germans that are working on an armistice. They refuse to accept anything for Germany except all-out victory. Of course, this will be the last time Germans go for world domination. While visiting the front lines, Diana learns that war is so not cool, and frankly, the front moves too slowly. She decides to charge a German machine gun, and in the end, all is not quiet on the Western Front. Diana and Trevor attempt to save a town full of enslaved women and children. Of course, they destroy the town in the process. After their victory, Diana and Trevor have a first dance in the snow. You can see them starting to fall in love with each other. You can see that they may be able to have a life together. And as you know, life is good, but it could be better. Trevor and Diana break into a party being thrown by Ludendorff, and she even attempts to kill him, but Trevor stops her. Unfortunately, when Ludendorff leaves, he ends up destroying a town nearby, and they end up having a falling out. Infuriated about the destroyed town, Diana goes on an all-out attack on Ludendorff's base. She ends up fighting him, but it's a very lackluster experience once she kills him. She thought killing Ares, god of war, would have been much more exciting. But she sees that the German soldiers don't stop packing poison onto their planes, and maybe either he wasn't Ares, or even worse, humans are horrible. She lost all hope in humanity in the four days that she was with us, which honestly sounds about right. Surprise, surprise, Out of the Shadows reveals Sir Patrick himself, who turns out to be the real Ares, god of war, and not the person who you thought he was. He also reveals that Diana is not a clay golem. 
She's actually the baby of Zeus and her mother. Ares attempts to convince Diana to join him and destroy all humans. She thinks about it, but decides that she can't allow that to happen and they must fight to the death. The people at the warehouse have been loading up a plane full of poison, and there's so much on it that if the plane crashed anywhere, it would kill everyone within a 50 mile radius. Trevor decides that he must commandeer the plane and blow it up with himself inside of it. Before he leaves, Trevor grabs Diana and lets her know that he loves her, but he must go. He must save the world, but she must continue to save the world here. He hugs her, kisses her one last time, and gives her his watch. She now can see that humanity is worth saving, and she has no excuse for being late anymore. Ares absolutely beats the crap out of Diana. I mean, he is the god of war, and she's new to fighting people. But she sees Trevor sacrifice himself and realizes humanity is truly worth saving and she has something to fight for. So she begins to fight back. Diana finally wins, beating Ares, killing him, and saving the world from an evil god. And now to this day, she fights to protect the light that's within man. She knows that humanity is worth saving. She truly is a Wonder Woman. And now I have seen it so you don't have to. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.